Hey guys, I'm here to review Tales from the Crypt 1972. Death lives in Tales from the Crypt. Tales from the Crypt 1972 is an old British horror film that stars Peter Cushing. It's probably one of the best, most quality British horror films of all time. The film begins with five strangers going into a desolate catacomb and it goes into a, like a separate room, which is the crypt. And there you meet the crypt keeper and he then meets the five strangers, but yet he tells them that he has a purpose for not letting, because the door locks behind them or the gates close and he has a purpose to tell them why they're there and what's going to happen to them in the future. So he tells them what's going to happen like, or he shows them the future. So each um, future that they, that's been shown towards each character individually is a story. And one of these stories is a gold digger trying to survive from a maniac, uh, a maniac that dresses up like a Santa Claus that escaped from the institution. So trying to break in, trying to kill her. And the same time she killed her husband for the money. So she's trying to hide the body. And, and then all of that while the daughter's upstairs, the little girl, the daughter's upstairs, she's saying, mommy, mommy, Santa Claus is here. Even though the Santa, Cla Santa Claus is like an escaped lunatic. I have other stories where people are coming back from the dead. Um, and then you have a specific one where a homeless man gets killed by a rich neighbor and he comes back from the dead as a zombie for revenge on Valentine's Day. And there's another story where um, it's like the monkey's paw. If You have to be careful what you wish for. And then the last story was uh, an, an, an old uh, veteran that's mistreating blind people in a hospital it's like a blind like a hospital or a treatment it's like a care for blind people not giving them blankets when they're cold and giving them bad food to the point where they just want to kill the guy like karma reality ah! So all these stories of five characters that are just assholes, pretty much. And at the end of each story, of course, spoiler alert, if you guys haven't seen it, they die and they kind of deserve what they've gotten after or at the end of each story. Yeah, um, this movie's good. It's a really, really well done, like creepy horror film. It has a lot of creepy se or atmospheric segments into this. Personally, my favorite story out of this film is probably the Santa Claus story and the zombie story uh, coming back for revenge starring Peter Cushing. So those two stories are the best. But the monkey with paw, the old man mistre mistreating the blind people, um, and the guy coming back from the dead, like another zombie movie or zombie story. Those three stories are pretty good, but they're just not as good as the two other stories that I mentioned. But overall, it's still a well-done movie. It's one of the best horror classics of all time, so it's a horror gem if you guys haven't seen this movie. So I highly recommend you guys to check it out, especially if you're interested in old English-British horror gothic films. So I think you'll love this one. <laughs> Who's next? So I would rate this movie an 8 out of 10. This movie is really fucking amazing. And there's just, it's just so classic. And I love how these old school movies, when they show blood, they have like specific, um, they don't use like corn syrup. They use like paint, which I, like they, they always do this shit in Hammer Horror Films, which is another um, product, like they produce like British or English horror films too as well. So Hammer and this film, they love putting their blood as paint, which is fucking awesome. It's so dope. It's like red paint. So that was my quick review of Tales from the Crypt 1972. Please leave a like, subscribe, leave a comment, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Learn its terrifying secrets. <laughs> if you dare. Who's next?